Hi guys, Tape James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to update your Hencore to version 2.0. So just make sure it is running. Mine is running. You'll just tap start and then just exit. And before we connect up to VitaShell, we want to go ahead and just open up the system settings because we want to make sure that Unsafe Homebrew is enabled. So go on Henkaku settings, make sure this right here is ticked. Unsafe Homebrew, it probably should be. Now exit out of Henkaku settings and go ahead and start up VitaShell because we need to connect our PS Vita to our PC. See. So just go ahead, cl click select, and then just go ahead and connect it. So Hencore 2.0 for the PS Vita was released about 16 minutes ago, so hopefully I'm going to be one of the first. But basically what this is, is an updated version of Hencore. Now it tells you a bit about it and what it does here. So a few highlights of the new release, ability to bypass the auto exit bootstrap menu, automatically spoofing the firmware version to 3.70, so you don't have to do this in settings. And there's a way to personalize the save data to get rid of the trophy warning message. So maybe like a few small things. Now it's up to you if you want to update. It's not really like a massive difference. So um, I know some people probably think this is pointless, but if you want to do it, just go ahead. Um, it saves you having to do a few things. So here is the installation guide. Now you must have um, Hencore already installed for this. So you can follow this guide if you do not have it, or I have videos on my channel. But what you have to do to update your Hencore to 2.0 is click here to download the latest system.dat file. Um, this is the file we will need to replace with the old one um, to get the latest Hencore 2.0. So as you can see, there's some instructions right here. So I will be showing you how to do all of this stuff anyway. So really, you only need to follow step one. But once we've downloaded this file, go to our PCs Downloads folder and find it in there. And we actually need to copy this across to our PS Vita. So you can just drag and drop it and put it on the root. It doesn't really matter where you put it because we will need to put it in the correct place anyway so that is literally it for your pc let's go onto our ps vita and i'll show you guys how to update to hencore 2.0 Okay, so once we're back, we can press circle to close out of this message. We want to scroll down and just press X on the UXO. And we'll scroll all the way down and we're looking for our system.dat file. So to press triangle on it, go down to copy and just press X. Then press X for OK. Now we're looking for the user folder. So go up to user, press X. Go to 00, zero press X. Go on to save data. Now scroll all the way down and we're looking for this one. PCSG90096. Press triangle on that and then press X where it says open decrypted. Now this is where we need to press triangle and then paste to paste in our system.dat file. Now keep in mind if you have an SD to Vita, I don't think this will work. So you will need to unmount that first. But we are just going to paste this in right now. As you can see, it's now been overwritten. Press circle to go all the way back to the main menu. Press start and then go down and press X on reboot. Now once your PS Vita restarts, let's go and just power it on and let's see if HN Core is updated. So let's just tap on it and then just tap on start and just tap on yes. And as you can see, it exited it very quickly. So let's just check and make sure everything is working. You can see that Vita Shell opens fine and we can just try some random app like auto plugin. And you can see that that opens as well. Now you're probably wondering how do we access the menu that used to be on there and I will show you how to do that now. So if you just close out of this, now go back on Tencore. Now before you start it, you actually want to start holding right. So just that tap start and then just start holding right, then tap on yes. And as you can see, we've now got the menu again. So it's basically like QCore, but even faster, I guess. And we can hold right if we wish to access this menu again. And you know, now we can do the stuff that's normal. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.